Yeah, ever since the Great Recession, I mean, Ireland was one of what we call the pigs, which is Portugal, Ireland, Greece, and Spain. I mean, it virtually, and that's when the government took over all the industries, took over all the banks, and indirectly took over every business, you know, and mortgaged by taking the banks. And they still haven't uh, divested from the banks because the power is just immense. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, like, so in that point, I have it on good authority, like they have their own uh, um, uh, FISA court where they have their list of people and their list of people are not terrorists or they're, you know, what they would call the right wing, ex uh, right wing extremists, or they're, they're, you know, the guys that are just like, Hey, I just don't want you to take my business. I don't want you to take my property without proper due, due process. And it's like, well, you're on the list now and we're going to head down. So then it's like, click, uh, we're on to, you know, you're, in, you're being surveilled. Your phone is being surveilled because we have our internal judge that just stamped your, saying that you're, you know, you need to be monitored. And now we, we're, we're, we're hearing your calls, right. um, you know, all the time. And it's kind of like, that's where Google, uh, Facebook, like they all signed up to that in Ireland. So it's like, you want these tax breaks? No, I'm not, that's not very much on good authority, but I'm only kind of extrapolating that. That's just like, that's part of part. It's like, yeah, you're going to give us access to these guys when we give you our warrants that have been just kind of set up fictitiously. So the guys I'm assuming I talk to that, you know, are kind of freedom fighters, shall we say, uh, we assume their calls are being monitored, you know? And uh, so we kind of try to use the WhatsApps or the telegrams as much as we can, but I mean, you know, and so once they're tart, they know who they're going after. Once this law is going in, that's who the cops are going to be monitoring. And it's like, okay, ding, like, let's get into these guys' houses and see what else they have. And then, then we'll just put the crime on top of them. And that's kind of, uh, you know, the, if you've been in Ireland, it's very cop free. Like you it could was. drive for miles. Yeah. You, well, it still is effectively. You might see them walking around Dublin and, you know, they don't have guns. They have want, like, they're not really there to police, but should we say when they're like, they will show up at your door and then it's game on. So it's really almost like they're not patrolling. They're being sent out, you know, yeah, well, they're, they're at the mothership. They're, they're more of like a Stasi now. That's the thing that's so sad about it is that it's kind of a secret police rather than proper police. That's the, that's at least my fear on it there. And, uh, you know, they are going to continue to get more and more intrusive. And you mentioned, you know, right wing extremists, quote unquote, that seemed to be the first thing that they brought out when uh, those, uh, you know, when those children were attacked and there was that backlash and uh, and fires around it. You know, that's that's where the focus was. But that's really just code for troublemaker, you know, or somebody we want to target. We're going to paint uh, them with that brush right out of the gate, and then you know, then we've got permission to go after them. So.